everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing like the third part in my adoption series because I always get so many questions about it and the past two videos that I've done on it have been really well received and you guys have just loved them so I thought I would actually do a third part because I have so many questions to answer from you guys. Um, this part is going to be, well the first part was about me actually being adopted. The second part was about me finding my real parents and if I'm going to and then the third part is going to be basically my actual real thoughts and whether I want to find my parents and if I will and things like that. So I guess, oops, <laughs> the first place to start is do I want to find my real parents? I think I touched upon this in the last video or I did talk about it in the last video and I said I wasn't entirely sure but now after a while as I'm getting older I'm going to be 20 next year so I have a lot more thoughts I know kind of what I want and what I don't want and I've kind of come to realise there's no point because because of my nationality because I am Chinese and there are so many Chinese people in this world it would be really hard to find them and it would probably cost a lot of money um, it would be really really tough emotionally physically um, and all those kind of things and in the end I just don't think it would be worth it if I didn't find them so yeah I think that's mainly the whole thing really um, it's not that I don't want to find them because obviously I do want to find them for many reasons I want to see if I have my dad's eyes my mum's nose you know those kind of things features um, on the other hand if I found them, they could be completely different to who I am. They could, you know, be really sporty or really academic or, you know, really good at science. Things that I'm not very good at. And um, it would be kind of weird, but obviously, I don't know because I'm not really going to... I don't think I'm going to have that experience. And I was talking to a friend from work yesterday and we both suffer with anxiety. And she said that something biological does kind of trigger that in a way because obviously you don't you don't have your real parents and you don't have that bond um, with your real parent and obviously there's whole there's a whole debate about nature versus nurture which I'm sure you guys will learn as you grow up or if you're doing sociology you will definitely learn um, and I can I can kind of see the connections because if you are adopted and you have anxiety you can see the connections because obviously you don't have your real parents and there's kind of like a missing link anyway I'm gonna move on to some questions because people sent me some questions so we're gonna get those over and done with um, Hakil B 2002 says if, you, if I don't if I don't mind if you don't mind me asking how do you think life would have turned out if you weren't adopted at a young age I honestly think, hand on my heart, if I wasn't adopted I would have ended up in an orphanage on the streets as a prostitute, working in a factory, you know, not a very great life. She says, what was the scariest part about adoption for you? I think growing up it was kind of that I didn't really fit in, everyone else had a mum and dad that looked like them, whereas I didn't. But I think overall it's kind of just the unknown which is the scariest part and that, I think that's scary for everyone. But yeah. She says, or she also says, I love you so much and you and, and I love you so much and you're an icon for your jailings. Ah, oh, that's cute. Um, Flora Asanta says, you're adopted. Yes, I am adopted. I'm sure most of you guys know because I kind of talk about it a lot in videos and in blog posts and things like that. So it's kind of, you know, not really an unknown thing. Erica Brown 13 says I'm adopted which is pretty cool because I think I only know about five or five or four people that are actually adopted so that's pretty cool Thatcher Amy says is there any ups or downs to being adopted obviously there's going to be ups and downs to everything because that's just the way life works um, the ups are obviously I have a great family who love me and you know, I have great friends, have a really good life compared to a life I could have had. The downs would be that obviously I don't know my parents, I don't know if I have siblings, um, I don't know what they're like, and things like that. Like, it can get you down a lot. Um, 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 Floral Ascenta also said, Would you recommend people to adopt kids? I would, and I, when I'm older, I really want to adopt kids because obviously I'm adopted myself. Um, 
I just think it is such a great way to give someone else a life because so many people in like Africa, China, you know, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, India, all those places, even in England, like, you know, we don't think about that. Places in like England and America, so many people need adopting because they don't have a good life and I just think it's such a great way to give something back to someone by giving them a great life and really caring for them because there's nothing better than you know being loved um, Vicky loves rolls Rolos I love Rolos too says I hope you don't mind me asking but why were you adopted well I was adopted because my mum couldn't actually have kids and I have asked if I could say this in, in videos and she said that's fine so yeah she couldn't have kids and obviously I didn't have parents so in the end it kind of worked out Hannah Doc Doc Luck says if people are adopted as a baby what age should you tell should the adoption parents tell the child they are adopted so I got told, ever since I was young, I got told that my mum is my adoptive mum and my real mum is out there in the world somewhere and it worked really well because I grew up knowing what I know now and I just think if you are considering to adopt or you are adopting or you have an adoptee, tell them from the start because there's nothing worse than them finding out when they're like 12, 13 because that could really end badly. So tell them from the start, that is the best way. She also says... Um, are regular adoptions or open adoptions better? Now my adoption was a closed adoption which is a regular adoption it's where you where the parents who um, are the real parents of the child give birth to the child then the child goes to the adoption parents and the birth parents never see the child or speak to the child again not until they're like maybe 18 and the child decides to see them so that is a regular adoption however open adoptions are when the birth parents give birth to the child, the child goes to the adoption parents and then the birth parents can keep in contact with the child whether it's by letters or photos, you know, phone calls, meetups, things like that. So those are the two adoptions. Myrna says, um, no that's not related, <laughs> it's right, it's floral fantasy says, here's my question, by the way don't think I'm being rude about asking this, here's the question. Have you ever wanted to meet your real parents? Sorry if this has upset you. Now I get this a lot, like when I tell people I'm adopted, they're like, oh, I don't really want to, do you want to talk about it? Um, things like that. And honestly, I really don't care. Like, I'll talk about it for days and days and days. It doesn't get me upset. Um, I'm the type of person who just kind of rolls with it. I'm used to it now. I get asked so many questions about it. So I... Obviously, ever since I was young, I wanted to meet them. It's kind of just an instinct when you're younger. But as you grow older, you kind of just know whether it's realistic, whether it's worth it, whether you should bother. And, you know, you kind of just develop your own opinions. So it's different for everyone, I think. Nikki KB2S says, If you don't mind me asking, I don't mean to upset you. Do you ever feel like you were loved less before because you're adopted. No, and I think in many ways I feel like I am loved more because I'm adopted because obviously my mum couldn't have kids and I am her child, her only child, um, obviously the love is like really really strong. Um, same with my dad's side of the family, obviously I have loads of brothers and sisters on that side and I don't feel like any less loved. I think when you are an adoptee it can be very hard sometimes to feel um, to feel if you are loved the same as your brothers and sisters or you feel less loved it just depends on the family really and the way that the family adapts and makes changes to their family according to you um, so I think it's different for everyone and that's the end of the video really I didn't want to make it long I didn't want to make it short I kind of made it medium length I hope you guys learned a lot in this video if you guys have any more questions feel free to you know send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram my handles are in the down below and if you want me to make a fourth part, I don't know what I would talk about in that part, but you can give me some ideas. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye! Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I edit my thumbnails. As this has been quite a requested video, so I thought I would get around to doing it. First of all, I use PicMonkey, which is an internet-based um, editing program, which is amazing. It is so good. I'm going to be showing you a fake thumbnail because I actually have no thumbnails to create at the moment so this is just a fake one 
Um, so obviously I'm going to go into my pictures and find the pictures that I need for the thumbnail and just pick um, as many as I need or as little as I need. Once I've picked all the photos that I need, this screen will pop up, which is the collage screen. I'll then drag it as far as far along as I can. And then I'm going to start adding all the photos that I need and adjusting them and removing them and just generally making sure that they look right. 